I'll myself. From its release in 1942 to the present, Ernst Lubitsch's To Be or Not To Be has divided critics and historians. That's not in the script, Mr. Brunsky. But it'll get a laugh. This is because it mixes comedy with a serious depiction of the oppression of Poland by the Nazis early in World War II. The plot centers around a theater troupe whose satirical play, Gestapo, is banned. Since the 1920s, Lubitsch has had one of the highest reputations among Hollywood film directors. For To Be or Not To Be, he collaborated with one of the great cinematographers, Rudolf Maté. Lubitsch and Maté skillfully varied their use of three-point lighting in the film to match the shifting tones of its scenes. And if we should ever have a baby, I'm not so sure I'd be the mother. I'm satisfied to be the father. The comic scenes used bright, high-key lighting. What'll happen to me? They'll kill me. The scenes of danger and suspense, however, draw upon a very different tradition in the three-point system. Three-point lighting has proven such a versatile and effective system that it is still widely used in mainstream filmmaking around the world. It may be less obvious, since color has taken over a large part of the task of differentiating planes of action, but together, three-point lighting and color can create clarity, beauty, and emphasis in ways that enhance our viewing experience. Mm -hmm.